What's up guys? Let's hit the road because today we are going to Canditopia in New York City. So we're taking the Long Island Railroad train because you know too much traffic to drive and uh, it's faster by train. So we are taking the train and we are gonna exit at Penn Station. Canditopia is actually not too far from Penn Station. It's about three to five minutes walk. So where's Candytopia exactly? It is located at 111 West 32nd Street. So we're making our way up to the entrance and once you get into the building, it's an all pink color that greets you. Yes, you're in Candyland. And after that, we went to another area that was rainbow colored. It was just like we were in this colorful cartoon world. It's so pretty making our way down through that rainbow hallway we then went to another section and that's where we were greeted with a beautiful candytopia backdrop that was perfect for your photos you cannot pass this section and you cannot come here and not take pictures at the backdrop this is the actual entrance to the attraction it's so chocolate factory themed this is where you actually enter into the attraction you had to do a little dance and sing and get all excited to go inside once inside you are in this area known as the library lots of clocks you guys and actually one of these clocks came down filled with chocolate check out this box guys this is made from candy just candy there were a lot of displays of people of animals and other stuff that were made from just candy so creative you were allowed to touch them gently not supposed to lick them i don't know who licks these displays but just putting it out there that you're not supposed to leave the displays so next up we went to this room and as i was saying before look at these displays um that snoop dog dog yes it is and campbell's tomato soup made its way into candytopia some emojis um that's steve jobs in case you didn't know i'm not sure who that is but there were a lot of famous faces and I'm just going through, hey Prince, I'm just going through and showing y'all what some of these displays are. And yes, uh, that's Cardi B. She is on display as well. I'm just going to come back over here and show you the Cardi B display. And of course, I got some pictures in this area because i like look at those display guys these are all made from candy and that's me taking a snap beside some of the famous faces these chests were placed all around the building in every room there was a candy chest that's so cool next up we went to this room it was so pretty as I said before, when I was in the rainbow area, it was like we were in our own cartoon candy world. There I was taking some pictures. The background was so beautiful. This is the only part in Candytopia I didn't like. The background is so dirty. I didn't even post any of my pictures at that area. And look at this blue sky. This was so pretty as well. I love this area. Um, there was the ball that added something. Look at the pictures I took with my son. So pretty. Then we headed into this rainforest themed garden and uh, it was such a different feel from the other areas that we, we just left. It was just nature at its best and the kids were enjoying themselves, they were enjoying the greenery. Whether real or not, it was just such a difference and it was beautiful there's a display made of candy of the tiger and i think i got one with the alligator under the bridge as well my son he loves vehicles so he had to stop by in that red red truck to test it out 
Moving on from there, we went through this colorful mirrored hallway and into this room that was dark and filled with neon swings. After that, we went into another room that was filled with lights and gummy bears. I call this the gummy bear room. And I found the biggest gummy bear ever. <laughs> just showing y'all around the room there's actually a button inside the room in one of the walls that you can press and when you press it it changes into different colored lights Of course, I had to get a picture with Mr. Gummy Bear and the love sign. And then we came out to this another garden inspired area. Moving on from there, we went inside this room. It was not really appealing to me. It was just an area you could sit and there were um, pictures of candies or whatever in the background that changes. So while you're taking your pictures, you might catch a different image of some candies. This part wasn't really interesting for me, so I moved right along. And this is another candy chest. As I said, every room had a candy chest that you can take candies from. I loved, loved, loved this area. This is probably one of my favorite rooms because I'm Aquarian. I love sea creatures. I love the theme right here. The animals that they made using candies. It was just so amazing. I enjoyed this room. It was one of my favorite areas at Candytopia. And did I mention that these are all made from candies? It's just so unbelievable. The things that they've created all from candies is just really remarkable. Tickets for Candytopia cost $36 for adults. For kids 4 to 12 years old, it's $29. And kids under 3 are free. Of course, I had to get my pictures. And then we headed on to this other room. They had this giant, what do you call these again? Seesaw. Yes, they had the giant seesaw. It wasn't really interesting to me, so I moved right along. They had these cute little signs, This Way Sugar Cakes. I liked how they put those sweet signs on the walls. And here in this area is the giant marshmallow pit. This was the highlight of, I know for my son, it was the highlight of Candytopia. We got to dip in the marshmallow pit and have some fun. And then we exited to this area. There was this mini zip line. I was trying not to record anybody's child on the zip line. So I didn't really tarry along that area. Of course, Candytopia, they were quite smart because after all is said and done, you exited right in their souvenir shop. So all these things I'm showing right here, they are on sale. Call me cheap, call me a cheapskate, whatever you want to call it. I did not buy any souvenir. I went to have fun with my son and my family and that's just what we did. We didn't this go to pretty. shop for souvenir, but I, like I thought this, this was really cute. They had it in pink, they had it in blue, and these cost $50 by the way. Look at this cute pink yeah, elephant. We saw this one on our way out. And then there's the giant gumball machine. And I just recorded this nice little message on the wall again. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. That's by Mary Poppins. And then they had this, um, what do you call this? The guest board. So I signed, made my own little note on the guest board. And then it said, sadly, back to reality. So we went back to reality. We left Candytopia. This is outside the building. And then we 
we're making our way to get something to eat to just top off the day and go home your ticket um, gets you access to all the rooms in Candytopia you get samples of candies and you're allowed to take as many pictures as you like so that's what your ticket covers on our way to get food, we stopped by the K-pop um, store. My daughters, they love K-pop um, idols and souvenirs and stuff. So they wanted to go inside and check it out. So that's what we're doing here. And back to Candytopia, it was a fun experience. Um, it's not something I wanted to do. I would want to do again. It's just something I wanted to experience. I think my son had fun and that's about it. Overall, it was a nice family outing. We then stopped at TGR Fridays for food and then we made our way home. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already and see you in my next video.